Pimp C uh, mother, Mama West, mm -hmm. when she, you know, when he passed, you was with her. Mm -hmm. um, just give me some of those times, man, the difficult times that when you, when you, because to lose a son is crazy, but to lose a son, Pimp C for sure, is throwed. Uh, like, just like, what were some of the things that you noticed in her, you know, months out after that, that kind of you concerned you? I'm going to take you before he got out all the way up short. So before he got out, you could tell a lot of fight was taken out of her. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow. And you know, and like I said, when I... When Corey Moe. <laughs> oh, Corey Moe. Oh, you name dropping today. What you mean? I always do. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, Come on. That, that what I'm saying. Like, like when you when you look at like like these guys, man. Even when, like I said, when I say Bun and me, we talked, and I was trying to figure out like, okay, where do we want to be? If you don't talk about pimp, really, think about this. You know, and I didn't say this to Bun, but I, I'll say this to you. If you don't talk about him, they got these things now that's real popular. What they're doing is they make a a, a like a. a, a my brother was just talking about it. They'll do a documentary, a docu series, and and they they'll just put his picture up and they'll tell the story the way they want to tell right, the story. Right. I'm being real. This is happening all over YouTube I right see, now. I see it on YouTube. It's everywhere. And like, if you don't talk, people like you, people like Bun, people like Bobo, people like Edgar, people like if you don't talk about PMC, then you just gonna get lost in the sauce, and then somebody else is gonna tell the story. Right. I think some people that's that's close to the fam. They almost think it's a fine line that they they're overdoing it, and they don't want to seem like they're trying to benefit off his name. But I'm transparent; like I'm not a hoe ass nigga pulling slick moves. Everything I do is right there in your motherfucking face. We broke bread on t-shirts right after he passed. Me and Mama West, she told me to stop the Pimp C Forever t-shirts, and I did. When Corey came of age, we restarted them. You know what I mean? That's why the trio has have Pimp on the side. I cut him in so he can put some bread in his pocket before he went and while he was in and while he out. And we in touch every day. You know what Wait I mean? Wait a minute. So you saying you before he went in, you put the, the pimp on side of the hat so that when we, Corey we could benefit the, from uh, it? Yeah, we started the, the Pimp C Forever shirts back before he went in. And then when he went in, I've been selling these hats for years. Of course. Been selling Trio gear for 23 years. So when he went in, I put pimp on the side of the hat. To get him a slice of the pie, that's so I cut I cut him in, and 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 that's what people don't understand. And I tell the story all the time, and I I'll never stop telling it. When I first met you, it was in this parking lot. It was down a little bit, and I was walking, and I seen you, and I was like, man, you know, you had some shirts then, you had mm -hmm. some stuff then. You, I got a CD from you. It was CD time back right. then. And Love it. Man. <laughs> Miss it. <laughs> Crying and on the inside. But the thing we talked about the Pimpsey shirt, and you was like, man, that it goes to you know the yeah. the, the family, and I think that's what people don't understand. And me and you did that. That was right after Pimp had died. Really, right. you were still in the streets doing your thing. Right, and a lot of people because they don't know they want to associate me with everybody else doing something. But the fact is, when you look a little close, you'll see it's directly connected. Me and Mama was together. Damn near every day until I just had to move around and, and wave that flag because we couldn't do it from PA going to these invites. We had a lot of favor from the, the bigger artists and whatnot, but it was more or less like, come hang out with us. And I was telling Mama Straight Business, for the labor, we're going to have to solidify something. You know what I mean? Wow. You, you, so let's talk about that for a second. You met, you, you was with, uh, uh, Pimp C uh, mother, Mama West, mm -hmm. when she, you know, when he passed, you was with her. Mm -hmm. um, just give me some of those times, man, the difficult times that when you, when you, because to lose a son is crazy, but to lose a son, Pimp C for sure, is throwed. Uh, like, just like, what were some of the things that you noticed in her, you know, months out after that, that kind of you know, concerned you? I'm going to take you before he got out all the way up short. So before he got out, you could tell a lot of fight was taken out of her. But she still had this hope, you know what I mean? And so it was a bunch of false calls about him coming home, but then it finally was like, he's coming home. When he came, she was complete. It was a different glow about the house, her, 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 her confidence, just everything, she was complete. And they, they was like, man, they were buddy-buddy, like that's our only child, you know what I mean? And the, and the relationship was crazy, so to have him for that short period of time, it was like she got robbed and somebody stole the life out of her. 
So the, the transition from uh, before he came home to when he came home to now he gone, like she really just floating, trying to figure it out. You know what I mean? And she got questions because she felt like he didn't just pass away on no permethazine type shit. And remind me to tell you about the permethazine story when we left Dallas and, you know what I'm saying, went back to the high rise. So she felt like she was robbed of her child just that quick. And after that, we were going to um, Ozone Awards 08. So he passed 07. We at the Ozone Awards 08 doing a tribute uh, that Bun put together. Uh, but, you know, you'll see it on YouTube and whatnot. And shout out to Julie Berry for that opportunity. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be the UGK posse doing the uh, tribute song for Pimp, but somebody voted that out. But somehow uh, MJG from A-Ball and MJG, he missed his flight. So Bun hit me like, say, you want to do this? Hey, boom, you remember this song? I'm like, hell yeah, boom, boom, boom. So I got actually got on there and performed too. But we was upstairs, and they also gave us these merch tables. We was upstairs moving the Pimp C Forever shirts, and we kept the same design so people wouldn't get it confused. And while we up there talking to Wendy Day next to either 97.9 or whomever that was, Mama got a phone call. When she got up, she walked away, and she just screamed and almost dropped on the floor. Here it is again. Her mama just passed away. Wow. So it was back to back. So her mama passed away, yeah. right? Back right. to back. How fa how far had it been? Like a, that wasn't far. Nah, because Pimp passed in December 07. Uh, her mother passed sometime in uh, 08. Wow. Whenever the Ozone Award yeah, was. Yeah, just right afterwards. So we go to that funeral. You know what I mean? And uh, we, we hold her up, bun, red boy. Uh, a few other folks, you know what I'm saying, from the team. We travel to Louisiana. I believe it was Crowley, Louisiana. We go out there and we hold the family up, you know what I mean? Come back, everything, trying to get back together. Then my brother died, you know what I mean? Wow. The shit was crazy, man. It, it was crazy. Wow. And, and, and just took everything in you to try to focus and keep going and pushing through, huh? I had just had a new baby. You know had, to do, had to keep it moving. And, and, and I seen all the motion that we had created, and it was like, I didn't even give myself time to mourn. I just kept grinding. Mm. And bitch-ass niggas was steady throwing darts at me, you know what I mean, trying to break a nigga down. But that was one of the worst times in my life and shit. So if I made it through that shit, then I lost my mother, you know what I'm saying, a few years after that, and right after Mama West. Man. So I made it through all that shit, shit. Nigga, I'm ready, nigga. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm talking about? It's, still, it's instilled in him, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, so give me... Um, you was you was on that stage a few times. I know uh, Toe Down just left here talking about Pimp C on the stage and how erratic it got. You know some of the times when you know some of the things that stuck out to him that happened. Like what was what was some key element moments that you seen Pimp on the stage and you you basically like, dang, did that just happen? Trio stories. Okay, okay, okay. Shout out to OG Percy, <laughs> OG man. OG Percy, yeah. <laughs> Say man, this shit fresh on my mind because somebody was just fucking with me about this up. We in Dallas at some kind of convention center or whatever. Okay. And so we walk on the stage. Oh, uh, check it out, kick ten over. Let me see it. It's the fifty fours in my ride is on Then pimp doing his thing. Shit chaotic. A nigga throw a diamond ring on the stage. You know what I mean? I pick that bitch up. You know what I mean? At the, at the end of the show, I check with pimp. Say, man, it's your ring. He's like, nah, nigga, shit ain't mine. Whoop, put that bitch in my pocket. But while we on stage. One of the sound people on the stage hand me a microphone and shit. So I don't know if him and Pimp had a, a pre-conversation. So I'm thinking, oh, Pimp must want me to do some ad-libs. So I'm on that bitch. I'm hitting some Pimp C-U-G-K ad-libs. But that shit got the feeling good to him. I start hitting them, he's a Leo ad-lib. <laughs> hey, y'all. You know what I'm talking about? Huh? And, and I did that shit and I seen Pimp jump. Then he start trying to look where that motherfucking microphone was. And that nigga spotted it. I had that bitch getting it in. You know what I'm talking about? Damn, I'm talking about fucking this show up. That nigga walked over there smooth as a bitch. <laughs> looked at me did like this and say, give me that motherfucking <laughs> mic. <laughs> and I hand it to him and shit, man. And that nigga walked off. That nigga say, no, no, no. <laughs> Yo, so he had to get you, you got out of control. Yeah, nigga say, man, how you felt when Pimp did that? I say, like a little child, <laughs> embarrassed in the bitch. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, but that, that's, those are teachable moments, man. Yeah, the, the video lives forever, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.